to read it. Three weeks for this parcel. Let's hope it's all intact. We'll say this is going to take us to the next level of our drowning. Okay, that's basically a head strap for the goggles. Have you guess what it is yet? Various GoPro mounts. Another GoPro mount. The one is for GoPro 8, and one is 7 and below. More props. Okay, this basically connects the GoPros. the LiPo battery. I'm not sure if you can see that there, but we'll open it a bit later on. More props. We have enough props. Okay. I bought an extra shell just in case. GoPro ND filters. And this is it. There you have it. Okay, this is the battery strap, and there's a sticker there. I think it's called like the battery damp dampener. More props. USB cable. GoPro mount. And there you go. Comes with these stickers like almost like bumpers. And this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. Keyring. Okay, and various card 
Oh, I've got stickers. Yep, yeah, these are the stickers. I flight stickers. Propeller direction. Safe flight and be responsible. I flight. Okay, and if I'm not mistaken, this is probably a quick step guide to CADEX Vista binding OSD display settings for beta flight. Okay, so there you have it. We've got the Nebula Nano. And what I'm going to do is plug in the USB. USB to the PC, just like that. Give it some power. Plug in the USB, you get a little icon come up. Double click that, it'll show you the current version here. You can downgrade if you've just got a new one, you have the option to install the latest firmware. Basically, click it, it'll, it'll prompt you, and just say yes and follow the prompt. And once it's done, that's it. So what we're going to do, we're going to update the firmware on our old DJI FPVs, FPV set. So if I go into the menu now, go to the about and the aircraft firmware is 010100, goggles firmware. 0.0.0.0 so we're going to put this to one side put a controller to one side too put the goggles here and what we're going to do is connect the goggles up using the USB cable to the iPad okay from the iPad you should get a little alert saying firmware update available so I've done I've connected it already and downloaded it so one thing that you need to do is make sure the battery is fully charged on all of these devices the last thing you want is for the firmware to start installing and one of these devices to turn off. So I've got 100% on all the batteries at the moment and let's hit install. Okay, the firmware is installed. So let's hit X. So 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is try and power them up. And restart it all. So I'm not sure if you can see. The firmware has gone up to 0 0.0.0.0.0 on the goggles and the aircraft and on the remote controller. Okay, so I'm just going to power this up. Obviously I don't have the props connected. So I'm going to put these away and get the Protec 35 and see if it binds. So I'm just waiting for it to boot up. Okay, so basically it's, it's in that mode. And what we need to do is the bind button, actually press it twice because earlier on I was pressing it once and I wasn't getting the bind beep. Okay, so here it goes. Also, this gets really hot, and then what happens is when it gets really hot, it doesn't give you the bind option all the time. Okay, so let's see. Pressed it, it's gone red. Now, let's see if we can get this bind bound. Excellent. And that's worked. So I can now see through the goggles. I can see what's coming out from this Cadex FPV camera. And I'm going to give a big shout out to Just For Fun RC on YouTube. Without him, I couldn't have done it. And also, iFlight recommended this video to me. One thing he missed, I think, on the video, either I didn't catch it, was that you actually have to double press it 